Okay. Back from the fucking dubs. From All right. The recesses. It's fucking. No, it's been off number, weeks. Number three. Number three. The E three shitty take special because God knows we're not gonna say any of them good. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. So this is date is be, June. This is gonna be exclusively just E three. Yeah. This June seventeenth, twenty nineteen. E three was like a week ago. If you don't know what that is, fuck you. Um, I imagine you would. Yeah, they just talk about games. We'll talk about them, give our thoughts. None of them will have any value. Per natural. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, week, uh, week started off with E3. Or, well, yeah, fuck. Uh, week started off with EA. <laughs> one, one off. It's, it's hard. There's two letters. What do you want from me? <laughs> fuck. <laughs> So, so EA this year, they did uh they didn't do a full conference, they did like an EA play thing where they just kind of showed off like new shit that they were going and gameplay and had like interview live. Yeah. I thought, I thought watching it, it was really fucking boring. No, but, I'm surprised. But yeah, it's EA, so that makes perfect sense. I don't know if they're still voted one of, they were like the worst company to work for in Unsurprising. 2017 or 28. Unsurprising. Um... But they did that. I'm kind of glad they did it because they kind of just said, these are the four things we're talking about. And if you don't want to watch, then that's perfectly fine. This is when we're having them. And I was like, oh, okay. I care about literally none of this. <laughs> minus like these two things. So that's great. That saves me a lot of time. Because I had to watch it later. Like Battlefield. Oh, I don't play that game. Who gives a <laughs> fuck? Thank God I could just skip that. Um, starting off though, they showed, ooh, they showed oh, Jedi Lord. Fallen Order. This game looks fucking bad. I'm gonna say it. Sekiro with lightsabers! Sekiro, yeah, we're looking at the games radar thing. I said it was Sekiro with lightsabers. Someone named Metroid it Dark Souls Zelda, mixed with Zelda and Metroid. I'm like, calm the fuck down, buddy. Let's back up all three of those for a second. Shut up. God. <laughs> the fucking journalists are really out this year. So, so watching this game, fucking, it looks terrible. The combat that they showed was like really really bland and it was really cutscene-y where like you just hit a button and mm -hmm. then this fucking three second cutscene plays in the gameplay it doesn't like you can still control your character but you're not doing anything cool in it i think um... and it looked it looked really like all the animations and stuff that they showed apart where he like climbs up a wall and it's the same static one second loop up of it and i was like oh okay so that's what we're doing the, uh, I think I saw a motherfucking uh, donkeys review of E3. Donkey, this, I haven't watched that video. Uh, this I'm... was showcased a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it looks all right. I yeah, guess. it looks very okay. Like nothing stellar, nothing crazy. Combat looks kind of stupid. I don't care about the story. They try to do the funny guy thing. It doesn't work because it's EA. Imagine being a funny guy. That sucks. <laughs> Not fucking here, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no humor here, fella. Okay, so... Only two brain cells. They started out with that. They went to Apex. I watched this in full. They're adding a new hero and a new gun. And they said that they might do some map changes soon. Um, They talked about, like, some buffs and balance patching. The new hero... Do you play Apex at all? Or do mm -hmm. you? Oh. Well, it's... I don't know. They Basically, the problem with it is it's such an aggressive game. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of cool as a shooter, but the problem is it's too aggressive sided. Like defending right now, it's just terrible. Like the best thing you do is get short range, medium range guns, go in fast and hard, yeah. and then like the offense has a much bigger advantage than defensive play. I see. But the new hero they added has like an electric wall kind of that she can put up that you can lock down big areas with that like stuns enemies and gives your team information. And then she also has, um, another big problem was there are a bunch of abilities and alts where, like, uh, basically barrages come down from above and just wipe an area. And she has a thing to block that now. So it's not like if I stay in one area, I'm going to get fucking ulted, get pushed out of it because yeah. I have to avoid it and then just get, like, squished. Now it's, I can set up in that area if I have a wants and be reliable and safe and the other team has to push and destroy this thing. Mm-hmm. So, I, I thought that was interesting. They added a, another gun, which, sure. 
It's a, okay. cool, dude. <laughs> Balance changes, all that. New game modes. It, they're doing surprisingly good stuff with it. Um, good to see. FIFA 20, I didn't watch. I don't give a fuck. It's soccer. I don't even care about the real game. Same shit. Get bodied. Sims 4, all oh, island living. Whoa. <laughs> Sims. Whoa. Sims! Crazy. They're on an island now. <laughs> it's Tropico. <laughs> fuck yeah. Finally. Yes. No Thank one, God. So no one gives a fuck about Sims. <laughs> Minus literally every girl ever for whatever reason. I want to know. Sure. (laughs) 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 Fucking rallying scenario. Let's go. Okay, so so then they show Battlefield Five bullshit. No one cares. I don't play it. It's fucking, it's had its time. Sure, that and no one gives a fuck as well. Thank you. And then that was EA. Honestly, a lot better than I would have thought. At least they didn't try to actually have a conference with nothing to show. Thank fucking God. True. And I mean, they did a good job showing off. Like they had a lot of gameplay. I know with uh, the Apex one. They talked with the developers, which was kind of cool, and the people, like, doing the shit. That's pretty cool. And while the interviews were kind of, like, bad, because the guy who was, like, talking to them was, uh, mm, It see. was like, he was, like, one of those over-animated, I'm clearly here to get paid, and oh, yeah, be yeah. this sparkling personality, yeah, I and I don't you. really even play these games all that much. I'm just but, here for the money, baby. I'm here for the money, baby. Oh, yeah, so that was EA. Um, getting on to a better one, Xbox now. What did they show? Did they show oh, us- so we'll just go down the list. Yeah. So Project Scarlet, formerly known as Project Scorpio, formerly known as Xbox Five, whatever the fuck. They've renamed it every year. All I'm going to say is Scorpio was a cooler name. Scorpio was way better than Scarlet. Well, it might be that each part of it, because I, when they... Because I watched it, when they talked about Scarlet, I think they were talking about just the processing I see. of it. So it might be like the graphics card was Scorpio, and they were working on that. And then Scarlet was fucking the processor. And then the RAM is going to be Project fucking Analingus or something. So <laughs> I love fucking Project all these fucking different Stargazer. Names. Right, all these different names for all these little body parts for the of project your shit box. No dude. one cares. Just literally just fucking, show the box. Literally, okay. yeah. We get it. Slap the X you're, on you're the You're fucking That's making it a PC that plays games. All right. We get it. You've said that for the past 20 years. <laughs> At least spell the word right. Dear God. <laughs> they added they had another Two T's. Two T's. Come on. Two T's. Come on, Xbox. Two, two grammar checks. What's going Jesus on? Jesus Christ. Send it my way. I'll, I'm an <laughs> English major. It's okay. Pay me, dude. I yeah. I took I took two AP English classes. I'm kind of hot shit. Right. Just send it my way. <laughs> kind of cool. I'm I got cool. you. I Don't won't worry. even ask for that much money, dude. It's cool. Two dollars um, will be fine. Two, do- two dollars <laughs> and some pen and some quarters for <laughs> maybe, the art camp. Maybe some quarters. Two dollars and quarters all we need. That's maybe. all I need. I'm not asking for much. <laughs> okay. So, Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite. That was a lot of people I haven't seen online. A lot of people are excited for this. They think Whoa. it's they think it's like, well, they're like Halo. Halo. The last couple of Halos have been dog shit, so I've been like Halo. Oh yeah. But now people are some people are thinking it might be a little bit of a return to form. I don't think I think the problem was when Bungie went off and I think fucking Activision, some shitty yeah, publisher yeah. put their hand in the pot and made it shit. Same thing happened with Destiny, like once Bungie went with Activision. Um it got shittier, and now that Activision split off of Bungie and Bungie's doing more stuff with it, people are thinking it's like the next content update is going to be really good. So I don't, I don't know the whole story behind Infinite, um, but it's launching on Project Scarlet, so the game's going to be fucking crazy. I guess probably. it's going to look great. Probably play like dog shit. People probably. are going to complain about the story. Probably. Fucking Xbox kids, what's new? Um, Cyberpunk 2077. I don't give a fuck about this game. They put Keanu Reeves in it. I said, sign me up, baby. Yeah, that's all I said. That's all I cared about. I oh. said, yo, this dude's kind of fucking sick. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Is I that said, Keanu you're Reeves? breathtaking, Keanu. <laughs> Dude, the guy, so the guy who said you're breathtaking to Keanu in the thing got a free, like, special edition that's of so Cyberpunk hype. 27, which is so fucking hype. 
I, I don't it. know like whether they gave it to him or Keanu was like, yo, I got you. But it's fucking it's either sick. way it's like I'm glad Keanu Reeves is like resurfacing as like the pop the super pop culture celebrity now. He deserves it. He deserves it. I didn't like Matrix that much, but I didn't know who Keanu Reeves was, and I was like, oh, he's a Matrix guy. Now that he's in John Wick and he's doing all this shit, it's like, yo, this guy, he's cool. <laughs> Keanu Reeves is a super dude. great guy. No, yeah, like, watching all the interviews and stuff and everything, it's it's super sick. Yeah. I think, uh, I think Hard Times or Clickhole made a fake article, or made, like, a fake tweet article that was, like, multiple women accuse... Keanu Reeves of extremely appropriate behavior or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's just really funny. Fuck that guy. Fuck that God, that dude's so appropriate. <laughs> I have dude. no problems with him whatsoever. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> but uh, that game looks cool. It kind of looks like... Uh, what was that movie with... Um, I know exactly what you're trying to get at. Uh, Blade Runner. Runner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks kind of like Blade Runner 2049, but with some fuckery and, put into and it. And Keanu Reeves. Yeah, it looks, it looks more of like a high-key game. I don't know. Yeah, I could see it being good, but I don't really have my hopes up all that much, I could see honest. it being good, but I could also see it, like, Being too crashing. ambitious yeah. and crashing. I was thinking that, too. I mean, I still don't know that much about the game, but... Yeah. It looks, it looks kind of cool. It looks interesting. Um, Gears 5, I don't give a fuck. The trailer was dog shit for that. Did you see that? No, I did it's not. literally a, it, it's literally a face and it plays Billie Eilish like bad guy but really slowed down and like thematic and then she just like morphs into other faces what and looks weird and that was all we saw. And I, it was terrible. Like one of the worst <laughs> trailers I've ever seen for a game. Especially because it's like a story thing. And all I've heard is the story's been dog shit for years. Like, Thank once God. they added a story for Gears of War, the games got bad. When it was just, I need to go and kill all these fucking weirdo things. <laughs> People were like, yeah, these games are pretty good. It works pretty well. But, um... Imagine having a bad story. Yeah. Fucking, they had an escape mode thing. They got the rights to Terminator. Really? And Terminator's in the game. Death Garden, which was made from... Uh, fucking Dead by Daylight devs had Terminator in it, but interesting. They get the rights to everything. I don't know why the fuck Terminators and Gears of War. <laughs> I think I think Salvation was dropping, and they're like, "Hey guys, no one knows what the fuck Terminator is anymore. Like all these old people don't care after the last movie, and these new kids have never seen it." They're like, fuck, you're right. How, how do we market this? No one cares. And they're like, what if we put Terminator in video games? And he's like. You know, this guy's on to something. <laughs> That's the move. That's the move. Maybe. Or just maybe game publishers are like, yo, this is Terminator. We love this. As CEOs, we love the Terminator movies. We, we, we love, love robots. Guy. We'll put them in our game. That means they'll see Salvation and be like, That's the guy from Gears of War. <laughs> <laughs> The guy's like, exactly brilliant. 50k happen. bonus on the spot. That's exactly <laughs> The top happen. brass knows what's up. <laughs> God, the fucking Gears is a thing. They have an ultimate Game Pass. What did they do? Xbox has a new Game Pass where you can play a bunch of fucking Xbox games. Okay. I don't remember what it is. They they basically had a bunch of fucking games added on. And they had, like, you know what, um, I think it was called PlayStation View was, where you could, like, stream games. And I it was subscription-based. Their yeah. Xbox is basically doing that, too. I where see. you can stream games, and they're adding a lot more games to it and it's not just you have an extended library that you can download the games from and then play hmm. so i i think that's kind of cool especially when like internet's getting better and you can support it because i know my problem with playstation view was i downloaded shadow of the colossus and then the internet was so fucking bad where i played it that it wouldn't let me play it because it couldn't stream it and I never beat it because the free trial went up. Oof. <laughs> Fucking tragic. I wanted to play that game for so long, No, that's too. a tragedy. I got to, like, boss fucking 13 or something. I was so pissed. But Xbox is doing that. They have Elite controllers. Who cares? I don't fucking care. They have the Elden Ring game, which is, um... Like a Viking fucking... This, this is actually one of the most fucking weirdest stacked like forces coming on a game 
George R.R. R. Martin, the fucking Game of Thrones mastermind, not oh, the show, but the dude who like wrote the books, oh, is writing for it, or has helped world building or something. Fucking Miyazaki, the legend in fucking anime movies or animated Japanese movies. That's like literally makes movies that are Disney quality for Japan is fucking working on it. He said he wasn't making another movie, and then he came out with this. It's like, whoa. And from software, which I don't remember what they did, but the fucking... I know they have a shit ton of, like, widely renowned great games is also behind it. So it's literally a game out of nowhere that's fucking stacked. What the hell? Like, crazy <laughs> stacked. We're random-ass people, too. Yeah, We're like, like, why are you here? But, I mean, I don't know. The, it's like an open-world, weird... Viking Norse something. So we'll have to see how it goes. Sounds interesting. As New well. Ori game. Okay. Woo. So, I played a little bit of the first story. I still need to go back and beat it. I heard the Ori game they did. The Ori, yeah, no. Playing it, um, from what just the small part that I've played, because I'm only like maybe twenty five percent through, if that, of a normal playthrough for the first. But they're fun. It's like a side scrolling platformer. Yeah, it Where's definitely that? looks like Beautiful visually games, amusing. Dude. No, yeah, beautiful. visually amazing. The art style is fantastic for it. Yeah. Um, but Well the Wisp is coming out in February 2020. I think it was pushed back a little bit more. That's but fine. It's fine. Yeah. They. I'm sure that'll be a good thing. Yeah. That'll be a good sequel to it. I, I'm positive it will be. So that's kind of hype. More Star Wars, Jedi, Fallen shit. I don't care. Borderlands 3. Um, Borderlands 3. <laughs> Borderlands games kind of suck. I'll say it. I've never played them. I <laughs> played Borderlands 2, like, literally, what was it, three or four months ago. Because they put the Handsome Collection, which was Borderlands 2, and Borderlands the pre-sequel, which was the technical third game. Uh-huh. I had for like fifteen dollars with all the DLC, and I played Borderlands too. I was like, "Whoa, this game kind of fucking sucks." <laughs> the dialogue is aged horribly, and it's kind of just a fucking grind fest. Yikes! Oh yeah, yeah I think I remember you telling me that. Yeah, it was it was very not that great. That's that's a so tragedy. I don't really care about the third Borderlands, but a bunch of people are like super excited, and it's like okay, okay, <laughs> sure. Hey, you do you. Borderlands, whoa, <laughs> story lore, whoa. whoa. I hope fucking Claptrap spends two minutes fucking producing dubstep for a quest mission again, like they did in Borderlands too. <laughs> A fully real thing, by the way. Thank God. <laughs> Fucking, you have to, like, sit there through it. It's terrible. Um, they had Bleeding Edge, some weird 4v4 brawler. They had a fucking bitch who was on a wheel. And that's the first thing that stuck out to me. I was like, what the hell is going on? And then, and then that's all we need to care about. I don't, I don't remember most of the other things about the game, but I think it looks okay. From what I remember of the um, Minecraft Dungeon. Look at Minecraft Dungeon. All right, dude. here's something I can talk about. Okay. This game looks fucking stupid. <laughs> it looks so funny. I like it. It's like Diablo Minecraft. Yeah. I don't. None of that I feels. Th to I me. think it's amusing. None of. I think it's fine that they made it. Like sure, yeah. whatever. But literally zero percent of anything in that I, I is think, like. I'm like yes. I think the only reason why I would play it. Is because it's Minecraft but different, and I'm like, yeah. I'm well, like you don't build anything in it. I think it's just solely combat shit That's in fine. Diablo style. I was never that smart to build anything, anyways. I never had the brain. Exactly, so it's fine. Sword swing if, hard. If, if I creeper to, bad. Exactly. I umbu. I umbu 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 like, uh, Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. They were just like, you want Redstone, look funny. It's like, you, <laughs> like the, you like the Oonga Boonga aspect of this game? Let me just make a whole new game for you. I'm like, all right, that's fine. You're like, okay. Go bonkers, dude. <laughs> Go bonkers. Go crazy. Go off the walls. Go off the walls. <laughs> 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 oh, fucking Psychonauts 2. Never played the first one. Don't know what the fuck is going on with it. I but think I heard Psychonauts was good. I, I've heard it's a very good game, but... I know it's like a platformer type deal, but sure, Psychonauts 2, cool. Cool. Fucking, 
They dropped the Battletoads sequel because they talked about it last year. How Battletoads was getting a fucking some new game, and everyone was like, "Whoa!" Battle and Toads. now it's like a weird gimmicky beat 'em up. I, Unsurprising. It doesn't look very good, so that's kind of sad. But they talked about the ID at Xbox sizzle reel features. Oh, and then it's got, they have a bunch of like fucking games that are like Indian shit that they kind of teased at. I don't remember thinking anything was like, whoa. But yeah, so that does it for Xbox. Um, ooh, Bethesda. Ooh, yikes. Bethesda was a major, 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 major fail this year. That was kind of a tragedy. So the one thing they talked about that was actually good, and they saved it. Did they do it right away, or did they save it for the end? They did one or the other, was Doom Eternal. I think they talked about it a lot towards the end. It looks cool. They added a new game mode, which is a Slayer versus two demons mm-hmm. who are together, all player controlled, and you have to try to win up. Obviously, the Doom Slayer is at advantage, but like, there's multiple different types of demons you can play. Yeah, um, that looks cool. The new, I mean, the game looks good. It looks exactly like the first. I haven't played it yet, but I've heard it's super, super fun. Mm-hmm. I've been looking to get it because it's literally ADHD. Press buttons, funny thing happens. The game. Which is perfect for me. <laughs> Press buttons, shoot guns, fucking no story, perfect. As deep as that story goes, it's you have to go to hell to kill demons. And I'm like, yep, bang. <laughs> cut it right there, perfect. <laughs> this is all I ever wanted. So I'm, I don't gotta read, I don't gotta, I'm gonna read, I don't gotta do anything, I gotta shoot demons, go to hell, sounds great. Get me out of here. My cup of tea. <laughs> God. So that so they showed that off. That looks cool. There's some fucking thing. I don't remember what it is, but that was cool. They're showing some more QuakeCon. Um Ooh, Fallout 76 added NPCs to the game a year <laughs> after. <laughs> what? They didn't have NPCs in the game. There's something. Or NPCs with dialogue, that's what it was. That's... Like, actual, they added choice dialogue a year into the game. Oh, they, they added a BR mode. <laughs> what the fuck does that even... Oh, oh a Battle Royale? They added a Battle Royale mode Oh, my to God. It. And they're giving it a free-to-play week. It was so funny in the conference. They're like, so we know Fallout 76 had a bit of a rough launch. Game was literally unplayable week one. Multiple glitches that deleted the game entirely. One including in a fucking update. Jesus Christ. For the game. Mandatory because it's an online game. They had a fucking... There was one player they banned people because people kept hacking stuff in because they didn't want to use the stupid atomic sword, which is you play real money for in-game items. What the hell? Yeah, it's fucking dumb. And then they... um. <laughs> And some fucking dude who actually played the game a shit ton got banned because they couldn't tell the difference or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, they fucking, they, there was the canvas bag fiasco where they promised this really nice bag and produced this piece of shit. And then their <laughs> apology was, you can get $5 worth of in-game currency, which was, not only was a special edition, like $100, but five dollars of in-game currency gets you like literally a chair skin or something. It gets you fucking nothing. It leaves you like half short of an actual skin. But so they did that. Um Battle Royale. Ghostwire Tokyo. Thank oh, God okay. we're here. Yeah. The fucking there, dude. I love this game. I just wanna say it. I fucking Ikumi Nakamura. The fucking cutest, what a cutie, dude. (laughs) She went on the stage, super, if you have not seen, watch Bethesda's just for this. Because this is absolutely blessed. This cute-ass Japanese girl goes out, is super excited, speaks in English, fucking is super animated and, like, passionate about showing off her game. Like, you can tell she's just super excited to be there. Does cute-ass things the whole time. Literally (laughs) all I could ever want. And then the Ghostwire Tokyo game looks cool. It's, oh, it's from the makers of Evil Within. Hmm. 
Oh, I, I see. want to say it. Interesting. I didn't know that before. It's like, so it's a very lore, like Japanese lore game. Basically, everyone yeah. disappears one day, and you have to like talk to spirits and fucking hauntings and shit and figure out why they're gone. And I guess you fight them. You're an archer guy. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but it looks cool, and they got this cutie to advertise it. It's so spooky. I might dust out the PS4, dude. It's spooky. That's it's all I got to say. I, I'm spooky. about it. Um, so that was Ghostwire Deathloop. What the fuck? Oh, this game. I remember this game. So this is kind of cool. So I don't know. Is it a story game? Um, yeah. So basically, this is a story game where there's there's two main characters a guy and a girl and the guy is stuck in a death loop and to get out of it he needs to kill the girl and the girl has to kill the guy in order to like fucking keep the world from not going to shit or some dumb plot mechanic but so the guy keeps failing to kill the girl and the girl keeps killing the guy and it's okay. some super story game it looks kind of cool i could see it um going well but you know still a lack of information i'm not gonna know for a bit elder scrolls blades is coming to the switch oh, man. i love pressing <laughs> i love mobile games on the switch <laughs> like okay whoa dude I, I don't care you can use the motion controls they do the motion controls he just goes like that and in game it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid like the little video they Jesus. put with it um rage 2 teases a rise of the ghost when watching it, i might have actually fallen asleep during this because i don't remember this whatever elder scrolls blades might have put me to sleep i could definitely see that that's fair the uh, rage 2 gets stuff i don't really care people called it off brand borderlands sure wolfenstein young blood launches july 26 I don't know. It's a Wolfenstein fucking game where you shoot people. Sure. Like, cool, dude. Right. <laughs> Whoa. Shooting. Whoa, dude. It's the most modernly revolutionary game because you can kill actual Nazis. Something that people try to do all the time in our modern world. Thank God. Yeah, fuck those guys. Fucking PewDiePie fans. We know what you are. <laughs> we know what you are, bitch. Come on. Face your... See me in Wolfenstein. <laughs> face your, face the fucking reality. Yeah, face the music, dickhead. Fucking dick nips. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, we got a list of other stuff they announced. Orion. Oh yeah, Google Stadia is a thing coming, which is like a fucking game streaming service from Google. No. I, I don't know what the purpose of it is, but they were like, there's stuff coming at, and I was like, oh, we, okay. We, we just don't need it. That's all I gotta say. I don't fucking know. Google was like, we're putting out a streaming service for games. I was like, oh, sure. I was like, go off, King. You got Google, it. you're good, bro. It's okay. It's fine, dude. It's sure, okay. go ahead. Um, Elder Scrolls Online has a fucking furry expansion now, so that's fun. Uh, okay. Based on the cat people, I guess. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They have a fucking mobile game based off Commander Keen. I didn't even know what the fuck that was before I saw it. I don't know what it is still. Yeah, some man. shitty mobile game. Elder Scrolls Legends is... I don't know Expansion, what the fuck that cool, is. whatever. We but yeah, hear. so just, just to also bring up, um, we didn't have any information on fucking Skyrim 6 either. Or Elder Scrolls 6. That's so funny. They just brought it up, and then they didn't even do, like, another announcement or show anything else. No, like, little game or anything. They're just like... Yeah. Uh, they were just like, ah, Doom Eternal. It's really cool, guys. It's our big announcement. Whoa, Woo. Doom Eternal. You guys love that game. It's the one you guys actually like. We know you want to see it. <laughs> Skyrim, what? Never heard of her. It's like, Elder Scrolls Online. Whoa. It's like, what are you talking about? Yeah, so Bethesda was a bit of a train wreck, but had some uh, good points. Devolver Digital Recap, the fucking great thing. We binged all Devolver Digital things before this. So what a Because Taz had to see. What a story. What a story. You've never seen the Devolver Digital conferences. Watch them. They're fucking... They're a trip. Wild, dude. They're, they're, they're a trip. They're a treat. 
they had um, Fall Guys, which looks cool. That is um, basically, imagine Wipeout, but in a Battle Royale scenario. It looks pretty cool. It looks, it looks really fun. Because it's just, you're this little fucking chubby dude. <laughs> yeah. Kind of gobbling around, shimmying around, <laughs> and you gotta try to not get, like, wipe out, knocked out. By other chubby dudes. Yeah. So that, that looks kind of fun. Um, they, they have a Devolver bootleg, where they actually just, like, made eight scuffed off versions um, of their games. Oh, yeah, also. So not only was it available on Steam, but they also gave it a 1% <laughs> off sale. <laughs> Which I forgot they did. That God. was super funny. One of the, probably my favorite title, they have Enter the Gun Dungeon, and then they have a uh, fucking Hotline Milwaukee. Milwaukee! <laughs> Just dumbass things. I saw a guy play it, and it's literally what it sounds like scuffed versions of God. eight games so that's a funny little thing that they made um they have a carrion beast game that looks cool you basically play as like the monster in a government oh, test yeah. facility that looked super sick that looks really fun i'll have to see like how it like forms together yeah but with all of like i don't think i've played a single devolver published game that i haven't liked like, all the indie games that they publish and shit are super, super fun. Like, out of all the publishers, they are just really good at making fun, small games. Um, like they have Enter the Gungeon House of the Dead. The so arcade they have, cabinet. They have a fucking, yeah, they have an arcade cabinet. So that looks pretty sick. Which is kind of cool. Fully available in the purchase. It might actually come to an arcade near you. Dude, what if, like, fucking Dave & Buster's had that? That'd be sick. Uh, Dave & Buster's has such shit games. Like, literally, every time I go there, I'm like, air hockey's cool. Ski ball's kind of cool. All of this other shit is dog shit. I don't want to play arcade doodle jump. I don't care. Yeah. And they had a piano game, which was kind of fun. Where you had to, like, press the buttons as fast as you could. I was always... One key off the top score. You suck. I'm bad, yeah. <laughs> there was only one guy who had that, too. He had other scores that were the same as mine. I got that, like, I think it was, like, 166 versus 167. I couldn't get 167. There was one guy who had it. And then I got 166, like, literally five times. Jesus. Right there. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was like, how the hell do I just press one more note? <laughs> But uh, that would be cool. It's just House of the Dead with Under the Gungeon gimmicks. Super sick. Um, they have The Messenger, which is like a side-scrolling gimmick thing. It looks like a cool game. I haven't played it. I don't know anyone who's played it. But they got DLC free coming to that. So it's That's never cool. a bad thing. Then they showed more My Friend Pedro that game. More My Friend Pedro game. I won a bet with an uncle and got $20 off of him. So that paid for that game for me comes out june 20th well, and that's kinda three hype. games that's fucking dude that comes out end of the week let's go it comes out thursday let's fucking go dude that's pretty high i'm super excited it's already downloaded and everything i just gotta wait for the time to drop so i'll be playing that and then send run kagura peach ball come to the switch thank july god. 9th so ready thank god um moving on Square Enix, baby. Okay. So I'll, I'll hold off on FF. Yeah, okay, we'll we'll get so, to that. So they have Marvels. They showed a Marvels Avengers game. I with, didn't get to see it, but I heard it was. <laughs> I did, and, yeah, yeah. That's the feeling <laughs> from watching it. That's the feeling I got. I was like, this looks kind of cool, but a you didn't show off any gameplay. B, it's just some kind of fucking Marvel superhero lore story, which I don't give a fuck about. And see, I don't know. Uh, the movie actors don't voice it. Oh, it's different people. It's sad, but it like makes sense. Yeah, because it's such a time-consuming project, and you can't pay like that much yeah. for it. Um, but I mean, I think the voice actors are good for it. They all did a good job, from what it sounded. But I mean, that's a thing. Um, Final Finally. Fantasy Seven. Tifa. Remake. Yeah, so Tifa looks hot as fuck. I'll be the first to say it. I wasn't gonna say Naval, it. Naval, so. dude. <laughs> what can you hate? You, you None got of it. You got me. So, um, yeah, game looks beautiful. They finally showed it off and talked about it. Um, they also had a fucking release date for it, which was March 3rd, 2020. Oh, shit, really? 
Yeah, it's, oh, it's 20, not that far oh, off. Oh, okay, okay. That's like a, that's like less than. That's a year not that far that. off, especially when we heard nothing about it for like a year. Yeah. Um. So the game looks fucking sick. I don't care about RPGs at all. I might actually play this. Um, Imagine if Kingdom Hearts did combat right. That's what they're doing with this. So I'm, I got seven on the Switch and. Hopefully, I can finish playing through that. My actual and I mean, one. Yeah. I've, I've already been told by a bunch of different people, for obvious reasons, oh, this game's really good, story's really good, characters are great, or whatever, well, whatever I've, else. I've heard the um, first time that you're in, it's called, like, Mordigan, or something like that, um, is, like, where the best content is in the game, and then everything after that is kind of just okay. I see. And the funny thing is, with the Final Fantasy VII... There's actually too much content for one disc. Oh, yeah. yeah. So they said the first disc that they released, I guess they might be releasing like Final Fantasy VII Part 1, Part 2, yeah. whatever. Or the game might just come with two discs because mm-hmm. old games used to do that. Um, but the first one's just focused on that Mordigan part. That yeah. Everyone says is super, super good. I forgot about that part. That's going to be interesting. But, um... Yeah, so the way they did combat now, because Ralts doesn't know. I think I saw, like, a very small clip of Tifa beating people up, and I was like, oh, this looks really cool. I was like, this so, isn't what I expected, but it looks really cool. So, it's it's in real time. I see. So, you you have a normal attack that you do, and it builds up. It's it's not a limit gauge. I forget what the fuck they call it, but it's some gauge. And when the gauge fills up enough, you stop time. And can option select like a spell or a special. Oh, move. that's really cool. So it's you no, know, and it's really sick too, because like when you do it, because the game's in third person, you can like move around and like see your environment. I like that. In it, and you can like take the time to target out things. So, you, and you can hotkey it too. I see. So like you can stop time, go through a menu, and pick out the specific special attack, like the fire attack or like the blade rush or whatever, or you can hotkey it to a button. And it automatically does the blade rush when you pass it on oh, the enemy you're targeting. So cool. It's so it's so cool, so cool actually. It's so smart. And then um, you can play. You can switch between party members at an instant, like right right like that. Like Ooh. they showed a uh, boss, and it's like Cloud and the fucking railgun dude. I don't remember his name. Barrett. Yeah, and Barrett. Um, I called him Xander in my playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I don't know what the Scorpion guy is doing. Hey, Cloud, what's going on? Wow! That would be so funny. I need Xander to dub over Bear Lines like right now. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck over here. Stay the fuck away from me. I got this real gun. Hey, uh, you're coming up to me, didn't me? I don't appreciate that. So fucking. Oh my God. So they showed it, and it's like clouds going up close, and then the oh, fucking thing comes up a shield, and this turret comes up from behind, and he switches to Baird's there. It's like I'll do that, and I'll fucking that. shoots it from afar. <laughs> wow! Hey, uh, Cloud, we better take out that turret. It's kind of oh, in you. God. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh. Anyways, so so it it looks cool though, like just the way because I was thinking yeah. about that. I was like, wow. So they're gonna have upgraded visuals on a fucking RPG where you sit there and scroll through a menu. For yeah, eight see, hours. so that's what I originally thought. I was like, that's okay, what I, I mean... thought, and I was like, that kind of blows. But I mean, they're remaking shitty content, so sure. I was like, whatever. But now after seeing it, it's like, yo, yeah, this, this game looks, looks pretty cool. Kind of fucking sick. <laughs> Like, watching the gameplay, too, really, like, does it, like, justice. Mm-hmm. It's, it's super sweet. And, and, I mean, everyone's models are good. The voice actors. Yeah, I really wanted to mention the that. The in-game like, looks beautiful, too. Mm-hmm. Like, actually playing with it, there's no downgrade whatsoever. <laughs> yeah. At all from, like, the cutscenes, which is super cool. I was... Like, the more I look at the models, the more impressed by, like, I've, Just I've seen the comparison shots. Yeah, they're so it's, good. They're, it's, um, it's incredible. This is really, like, Square Enix, I think, is a shit publisher. I think they do a terrible job with a lot of things. I think the best thing that they've done, at least for the past three years, is fucking sponsor animes that are made. Because they do that, if you didn't know. Yeah, that's fair. But this is, like, 
this is actually a f fantastic project that I'm really excited for. I think that I wasn't is, before. Honestly. Yeah, I know. It's Cause... it's a really it looks like a faithful. We're trying to take this fan loved game and make it the best that we can. Yeah, for sure. And which is so super far, cool. Whenever that happens, so far it looks amazing. Like. I cannot stress enough how great every character looks. Like the, the models for the everything. enemies, the world, so it's, good. Oh it's my so goodness. crispy. There's so much like I'm you can just tell there was so much attention put into it, yeah. which is why it took so much time. Yeah, I like, was. They I, really. It looks like they did not leave an inch out of this game. Mm -hmm. Still, just just completely blown away by it, just how good everything looks. And I mean, it plays well. They they showed fighting a boss, and while it looks like it takes a bit, it looks like it's interactive and like really like story and um, sequence heavy. Yeah. Like it feels like it's changing from one part to another of the boss. It looks just really solid. Mm -hmm. um, Anyways. Showed a lot of that. They have a um, Master Edition or like the Ultimate Edition of that game. You get a cloud statue with a bike. It's like 100 or $120. I saw at least 20 tweets of the people I follow who are like already pre-ordered it. I mean, it's a cool bike. With the statue. Bike. And I was like, cool bike? <laughs> it's a cool bike. I mean. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna, Cloud's gonna fight people on a bike on like bike. fucking Dante. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking. <laughs> um. That was, uh, they have this game called Outriders, which is some weird <coughs> fucking shooter. It's, like, cool. Okay. I don't really care about it. Final Fantasy VII was the main takeaway. They have a bunch of fucking JRPGs. Octopath Traveler on Steam, because that game's fantastic. Thank God, whoa. Apparently, I mean, I don't know. No, well, the game, well, supposedly the reviews for the game are, like, in Japan are, like, great. Uh -huh. But everybody, and I mean everybody who's played in the U.S. thinks the game is hot dog shit. Interesting. They hate, like, they, it's, they say it's just so boring and unenthused. And uh, that's that's wild. It's I, crazy. It's like, like, like the critics all love it, but every actual person who plays it is like, this sucks. And, like, YouTubers and, like, figureheads, not just, like, friends, have said the exact same thing. That's so wild. Which is I love crazy the visuals in the game. Well, that's what people have said. The visuals are cool, but, like, everything else just doesn't deliver. Like, the story and the eight paths. and That's so tragic. It's it's weird, but um, they have a bunch of Final Fantasy VII and Dragon Quest shit. Um, Circuit Superstars. Multiplayer. Oh, they have Circuit Superstars. So, like, the old kind of arcade <laughs> games where you raced from Top Head. Mm -hmm. they, they're they making like a game that's kind of like that that sounds pretty but cool it's like some Italian developers who like are really into cars and that's why they made it and I was like oh we like I cars. talked about it for three minutes and I was like oh okay we like cars you like cars you made a car game sure kill it you got <laughs> you it you got it <laughs> more power um, to you yeah you fucking Kingdom Hearts 3 DLC hurry my yeah Kingdom Hearts is hot dog shit. You already do not first, because that should be the popular opinion. Um, I kind of like it. Games are Disney fan service and nothing more. I kind of like it. I feel like Disney fan service is cool, but that's all there is. Oh, I don't have much to say besides that. <laughs> besides, kinda cool. I kind of like it. It's like, I kinda like cool. it. They're kind of cool, I guess. Some characters are cool, some characters are not. Darkness Sora. I don't love it. Oh, Sora, it. the darkness. That shit's hilarious. I don't know what you want me to say. <laughs> Call it stupid. This I laugh. This looks at it. like a great place to search for some <laughs> ingredients. <laughs> 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 Donald Duck. That was the best meme to come out of that. <laughs> I love Donald. Fucking Donald Duck. Um, what else do they have? Romancing Saga and Sega Scarlet. Grays, fucking JRPGs remastered, coming to platforms, whatever. New mobile game spinoff for fucking Final Fantasy. Look how pretty Aerith looks. Oh my god. Pretty Aerith. Oh, she looks so fucking gorgeous. They all. They didn't so show good. off much gameplay with her. But or much thing. But she, she looks. She looks, looks that's all that really is. God. It looks. That game looks so cool. Oh yeah. Anyways. 
So that that was Square Enix, basically Final Fantasy VII and JRPGs, as it should, and be. an Avengers game that's there. I guess. <laughs> um, off to Ubisoft. Ubi. Ubisoft. Ubisoft actually didn't do that bad this year. They didn't do any like. So two years ago, when they had um, fuck, what was her name? They had Tina something. Uh, and she was just the worst host like ever she was just super cringy the line she did i don't know if it was her fault or if it was whoever the fuck was like scripting it. it yeah but it was just awful it was like painful to watch yikes like she'd go off into the crowd in the conference and be like see you excited for this game there's some like big nerd who's obviously just wants to sit there and have no attention on himself and he's like yeah <laughs> She's like, yeah, it, it looks cool. <laughs> she's like, yeah. Then she's like talking about like, yeah, like this feature and this feature. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. But uh, they got rid of her last year. And then this year they just had solid game lineups. They still did the thing where for Just Dance, they bring people on stage and dance for like four minutes. And it's like, sure. Yeah, okay. Whatever. You got it. I already know it's coming. No big deal. Um, first thing, Watchdog Allegiance. That is... Play as anyone, even Grandma! Yeah, so the gimmick with the game, if you haven't seen it yet, is that they have a fuck ton of playable characters. And I saw you it. Start, you start as one, and then basically in the game, you're doing the normal trying to overthrow the government or fucking some dumb bullshit. Yeah. But you can recruit people, and you have to go out of your way with a character to recruit someone, and they all have special abilities. They shut off one guy had, like... Plus 25% damage to drones. Someone had 200% melee damage. They have like little funny kind of gimmicks too. Like one was like Stuntman. Like plus 10 or like 50% survivability. Might just die randomly. <laughs> is the thing. Like That's a bunch so of funny. really dumb stuff like that. But you have to recruit them. And then once they're recruited. You go through like a little story thing with it. Um, that you can play as them and just switch on the fly and they're just somewhere in london or That's britain where the game takes place and like characters permadie too like they showed that in the thing so if you fucking while well, you can recruit 80 people you can be dicking around with robots and if you fucking die that guy's gone he's not coming Fuck. back he's out of here Fuck. yeah they're all fully voice acted and shit too it's, That's super it's, cool. it's wow. really it's really ambitious which if it was anyone else, I'd be like, cool, but the fact that it's Ubisoft makes me worried, because they have a long, colored history of producing dog shit on That's a game true. release. That's true. I still remember how in Assassin's Creed Origins, when I played that game like two months after it came out, it was still fucking broken. The game's awful. Like, it's yeah, kind of yeah. fun to play. I remember one of the later missions, it's supposed to be a stealth one. I fucked up and someone saw me. I had 50 guards on me at one point. No exaggeration. I think it took six smoke bombs. Because you literally throw a smoke bomb at the ground. The guards get dazed and don't attack you. And you stealth assassinate like five or six per smoke bomb. Oh, wow. So I literally had like 12 get out of jail free cards. And the mission was easy. And I was like, oh, okay. Good game. Great game. Great game. balancing that you can just fucking do this. When there's a guy literally touching me and the second I throw smoke at my feet, he just stops. <laughs> Good game. But so I'm a little worried about that. But the game looks cool. They showed like a mission or two in it that looks really fun. You can play as a grandma. Nothing wrong. You can wrong play as a that. grandma. You still have the hacker shit that happens. They all have these goofy little masks. It it looks fun. It it can go very well or it can go very bad. Yeah. No one's gonna know probably till it comes out. Um, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, another Tom Clancy game. Whoa! I got nothing to say. It's a Tom Clancy game. Um, Games Radar is saying the Terminators in it. The fuck did they get the rights to? Yeah, Terminators. The Terminator franchise is somehow involved. Why the fuck is everything happening with Terminator? I literally think they made the movie and then we're like. Okay, this we need to do more marketing <laughs> because no one knows what no one's excited. No one for. knows what's going on. We need on. to just fucking put them in shit, give away the rights, just include it. Like you can include the Terminator in your game if you want. We'll give you, we'll allow you the rights or something. What a world! What but a world. so that's happening. Cool. Um, the game it looks like a Tom Clancy game. Some fucking 
they break out from the division and are trying to fight back against it and you have to kill them or something. I don't know. Okay. Some dumb <laughs> shit. Uh, Tom Clancy's Division 2, another Tom Clancy game. <laughs> Fucker has his name on everything. <laughs> this fucking guy. This <laughs> Clancy, dude. <laughs> 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 it's they fucking outline dlc i don't care about any of them it all looks i mean it all looks like cool but it's like who cares Clancy. oh yeah there's a fucking division movie oh coming to netflix featuring jessica chastain i don't remember who the fuck that is and jake gyllenhaal who okay i do know okay but I don't know how that's turning. They also talked about, I don't know if we'll see this later in the thing, but they talked about a um, TV show that's coming up. And I don't think it's Netflix. It might be like Hulu or something. But it's about, um, I think they, it's called like Mythcore, the Raven's Demise or something. But basically it's about developers who developed like an MMO mm-hmm. and it got super big and they're about to release their first major like DLC content update. And I was like, okay, I don't care. But then Mac from it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. That guy is the one, like the main producer and one of the writers on it. And That's he's so the hype. star character too. And That's I was so like, hype. yo, I was like, okay, maybe this isn't so bad. I know, um, what's his face? Fucking Dennis. Wait, is his name Dennis? Who's the white dude with curly hair? Dude, I can't say I remember the names. It's been a break. It's, um, I think it's Dennis, the dude. Yeah, Dennis and Dee, because it's Dee's sister. Or he's Dee's brother. So Dennis is on a show called AP Bio, which is, like, basically he's a washed-up AP Bio teacher. He majored in psychology had a freak out to some guy who's better than him and now is stuck in fucking toledo teaching ap bio and it's actually it's not bad it's it's got some good points he's acting wise he's fantastic in it he's super funny um so yeah i could see this show being good they said they like pushed it back because i really wanted to take the time to make sure it was good and like not only was pandering towards like just general tv audiences but also making it like yeah fairly accurate or like pop culture to like the game world and all that mm-hmm. so i i thought that was cool seeing him talk about it um roller champions is out um that is really weird it almost kind of reminds me of like a Rocket League type deal where it's some weird sports game thing yeah. that looks like it might just blow up. Um, it's a roller rink in a circle mm-hmm. and you play with two teams of three, I think, and you basically have a ball. It looks like you have to go around the track a certain amount of times with control and then you throw it in a goal to score that's on the side. And you can like check people and I assume people have abilities and all that shit interesting um but yeah it it looks it gives me a big rocket league vibe saying that again where it's like some random ass game where you're like soccer with cars what (laughs) and then it just ends up being super fun yeah it's like okay it's like yeah sure cool (laughs) kill it more power to you Uh, alrighty um fucking rainbow six siege Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege Quarantine. Oh my god. So they added Quarantine to Rainbow Six, which is, um, it's a PvE mode, apparently, which kind of sounds cool, and it's like three-player co-op, and it looks like a kind of zombie scenario, but with, like, super zombies. Not, like, the slow Walking Dead type, but, like, the fast, um, World War Z type. Yeah. Type of deal. So that's kind of cool. I really like PvE stuff. Like in COD games, PvE content. They had the one in Ghost, as shitty of a game as that was. They had the alien mode, which is kind of cool. So we'll see how that is. I don't own Rainbow Six. Um, I also... Is Rainbow... It looks like Rainbow Six Quarantine is its own game. So it's not a Rainbow Six Siege DLC or add-on. But it probably uses the same engine and guns and all that. 
mobile game with Tom Clancy's name on it. Tom Clancy's a lead squad. Shut the fuck up, Clancy. God. We know. We know. We Tom. know. You make. Calm you the make fuck it. down, Tom. You we know. It. We get it. You kind of created the world for fucking spy shooters. We get it. We get it. We've yeah. been on this. Don't fucking put your name on everything. We know it's yours. Shut up. God. Fucking Tom, dude. Fucking Asshole. <laughs> um, you play plus. I don't remember what the fuck that is, but basically. Yeah, so basically you pay more fucking money for you play and you get a game stream library with old ass games nobody likes and early access and dlc content that's sooner crazy okay yeah so here's what they're talking about with the um the game developer show with yeah mythic mythic quest raven's banquet starring rob McElhenney, which is mac on it's always sunny which looks it looks like it could be funny. Hell yeah. That's all you need. Who knows? TV finds a way to be extra shitty in America. So. That's true. Never know. Um, and then Gods and Monsters. So this is from the creators of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. But it's not an Assassin's Creed game. Okay. It, That's... It's weird. It's like... The lore of the game is, like, when the gods can't handle a monster, they call you some fucking demigod or some dumb shit. Oh. And you just fight monsters in it. It looks really cartoony. Um, but it's set to release February 20th, 2020. February 25th. I don't know anything about it. I know Assassin's Creed Odyssey kind of got rid of the whole Assassin's part. To my knowledge, it was a lot more combat-based, which I think was good, because... Can't really do that in Greece. Yeah. Not a good way to implement it. The whole Path of the Warrior, Trial by Fire gameplay style, I think, is a lot better. Right. So, it'll be interesting to see if Gods and Monsters ends up being anything. Um, more announcements. Japanese For Honor event, which looks kind of cool. But I don't play For Honor, so fuck it. Rainbow Six Siege has a new update. Fuck Thank God I didn't put Tom Clancy's name in the article on that. Thank Just Dance God. 2020, which... <laughs> Just Dance 2020 did not have a re Wii U release, but did yeah, have a Wii, Wii release. <laughs> which is super funny to That's think about. So That's so fucking sick. I, I'm about it. That's all I have to care about. That's all I care about. They did it. They fucking memed on the Wii U. Sounds great. Thank God. And then Brawlhalla got Finn, Jake, and Princess Bottom <coughs> as from fucking Adventure Time. That was kind of cool. As fighters. That was kind of cool. But then I was like, wait a second. Brawlhalla's fucking ass. Yeah, exactly. This game sucks. I hate it. It's like Smash, but even more Oonga Boonga. Yeah. <laughs> it's terrible. It's pretty bad. It's like fucking two-button mobile Smash, dude. Um, it's awesome. Oh! I didn't even think about that. There's a little, so on Games Radar that we're looking at, there's a little bottom article, and they're talking about the missing games of E3, and it had a Beyond Good and Evil 2. That wasn't talked about at all. I don't know what that is. It was um, apparently Beyond Good and Evil, uh, circa 10 years ago or something was a game that came out. Might have been a PS2 game. I think it was a PS3 game. Or older game. Uh -huh. Apparently really good. And the developers took 10 years to give another one. And they were actually, apparently they were working on a good bit of it. I see. For that. Um, and it's like a space game. There's a lot of anthropomorphic animals. Oh boy. Um, in it. That's kind of got lore, lore infested shit. You're some space pirate, I think. Um, one of the cool things that they did with it is they had, um, they resourced outside of their own company for like in-game art and other things for the planets because there's a shit ton of planets basically. And they outsourced to creators online to um, to create their own music and their own art style, like propaganda posters, shit like that, just art for the planet. And they had a website online and basically you vote on what you want in 
and it's like the more popular stuff gets in and then they actually pay them for like the work that they did some amount i don't think it's great but it's something which was kind of cool because like of how they did it to make sure that they get you know compensated for the work that they did mm -hmm. um but I thought that was really cool, but that didn't show up at all, which is surprising because I think I think it was Ubisoft. I don't think it was Sony. No, it wasn't Sony, and it, it was Ubisoft. Um, that was their big game last year. That was like their big one announcement, I'm pretty sure. And they don't mention it at all, so maybe that's gonna release soon, coming after next year's E3. Yeah, because that seems to happen a lot. They take a year off, don't talk about a game, and then talk about it and it's releasing within the next year mm -hmm. so we'll see um now on to the last golden child nintendo the only thing i actually fucking watched yeah so now we're also actually chime in and it won't just be me fucking <laughs> talking about shit that i watched um let's get some unanimous pog champ um animal crossing Animal um, Crossing, New Horizons. I don't care about Animal Crossing. Yeah, to be I haven't really played an Animal uh, Crossing game A lot game of people before. are excited. I know. It looks... In the fucking Smash Direct where they talked about Isabel, they said, hey, Animal Crossing's coming in 20... In next year, and people oh, are yeah. freaking the fuck out. Yeah. They're like, fuck Isabel. Animal Crossing's fucking cool. Smash Baby, shut up. And that was about it. No, I don't know where I was going with that, but... No... No, they finally announced a new Animal they Crossing. They announced it, and it got pushed back. Which I think is fine. Yeah. I think it's... Uh, everyone's complaining. They're like, I want Animal Crossing. I want to be able to fucking build a tree and wait 24 hours to catch a bug on it. It's like, who cares? And it's like, shut Relax. the fuck up. The game's gonna be better. Yeah, it looks Just it looks quit being good a too. fucking baby. It looks fine. I mean, you literally start from ground zero on yeah. an island with a tent, and then build, like, the roads, the town, bridges, everything. Visuals look good. Which, I don't give um, a fuck about that doing that because just spending hours and hours yeah i'm not creating about that it. shit is not me but i think it's cool that you can do it and yeah. it's like people who are into that are gonna have a fucking field day for sure visuals look better you can do shit like leap across rivers which i thought was cool yeah because i don't think that was there before you can pick your own skin tone now yeah that's that's a cool addition we it's got sick. we got the cat right there in the middle Sneez the sneaking his way in there with his goddamn red hair he said, hey. Oh, hey. I gotta play P2. I gotta play P2. <laughs> Don't know why I'm a villager. <laughs> Secondary pocket. Whoa. Whoa. Um, what was one other thing? Isabel's back in this game. Um, I think the villagers have more personality from before. Like, I, I saw a lot of, like, the newer games from what I've heard. All the villagers are kind of like too nice or whatever. Whereas they're kind of like stock. They're kind of yeah. just whereas, the same personality with a slight twist yeah. on Yeah. Whereas in older games, they like they would they could say mean things. And they could just put assholes in there. Yeah, and I'd be it's like, like okay. hey, bitch, heard you haven't been in my bar for a while. The fuck's going on? <laughs> it's like okay, that's so not cool. good enough for you, huh? Spending all your time at the farm trying <laughs> to grow some crops. So I'm assuming. I'm assuming they have better personality this time around, or at yeah, least cool. a, a, enough personalities to that not everyone's a piece of cardboard that loves you for not doing anything. Yeah. That's all I gotta say about that. Oh, apparently there's a crafting situation, or a crafting system. Minecraft and Animal Crossing. Sure. That's it. Same thing. Alright, next. Okay, I'm gonna Breath of the Wild and oh, smash okay. it up. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's hold on. Let's hold those till the end, because right, that's right. gonna be... Because I want to go out I'm on gonna a bang. I'm going to pop it off. I'm exactly. Gonna I'm going to pop it off. So, we'll, so we'll skip that for now. Um, Luigi's Mansion, Mansion 3. 3. This um, looks fucking cool. I'm going to say it. Yeah. I played Dark Moon. I didn't beat it. I got real close. I got to um, basically the end of the game, to my understanding. It was very fun. It was a nice kind of spend a couple hours here and there mm -hmm. playing it. It was, it was a very sort of cute, fun game. Yeah. Um, how to describe it. Um, um, this one... Luigi's Hotel. It's a hotel. And I was hotel like, Weezy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love old YouTube yeah. boosts, dude. They made a game off of it. Let's yeah. go. Hotel Weezy. So, bro, the motherfucking... 
motherfucking... I don't know. There, there's a lot of colorful personality in this game. You got Guiji from... You got Guiji, yeah. So there's co-op now. And Which there's is cool. fucking EGADs. It's super cool. And they have a fucking goo slimy... Who's that, who's that fucking ghost from... Ghostbusters Slimer. Okay, you the got fucking me. green one is you play as a goo version of Luigi and can fuck around. But there's also a multiplayer mode which supports eight player and online and you have to rescue toads as you go around the thing, which I think is hype. Yeah, I think that's cool because you like elevate with each No, yeah, uh, there's yeah, cause the game is in a hotel, so you it's vertically yeah. based more. Um I know in Dark Moon there were like six or seven locations i think that you mm -hmm. went to and then it was kind of these landscapes with buildings that you went kind of up and down with but right. it was more the whole area but in the hotel it's just there's gonna be a bunch of fucking floors and yeah. there'll probably be like a snow floor and a fucking which i think is sick i'm a big fan of that idea what i want to say um oh they're doing a lot more crazy things with the poltergust and I noticed. I that heard about that. They have the fucking grab thing. Yeah, now. from fucking Smash. Yeah, like, that's they do. Fucking, they have the slam thing. It. Yeah, and, and you I, was like, I was like, I was like, yo, down. that's kind of from Smash. I saw it from Smash, and I got instantly pissed off because I fucking hate <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> It just made me He does mad. the back row. <laughs> like, it's their ghost now, and they're like, what, what can I do? Approach? No. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking busted ass option. I have no Thank range. God you can't jump in, in mansion, so you can't Zare. If you could, it'd be over. He's like, I have no range. There's no neutral game in this. You're just bad. You're carried by, <laughs> You're carried by your fucking poltergust. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. You have no combo game. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. This is an unwinnable matchup. <laughs> it's an unwinnable matchup. I'm here all day just to dick around. Why do you have to come ruin my fun with your busted ass news? God. Fuck you. He has that fucking like blast of air that like blasts the fucking down Sonic. And... Get him away from it. It's yeah. like finally I close distance. I can punish him, blast him away. But there we fucking go. God. Back to square one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Busted ass character. Fuck this guy. He's like, fuck that's not in Smash. He's carried. Anyways, yeah, yeah, that. so that's that's pretty much what Luigi's three. Cool. Sword and Pokemon shield? Sword and Shield. Okay. This is um, there's some big, yeah. big topic. I, I First know. off, open up with Nessa because it's okay. the stupidest. That's, that's Jungle Fever, baby. She's hot. The she Rule Thirty Four artists are jump ship. From I, have, Sony. I haven't really watched, looked at too much or at all. I can't but. say the same. It's, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of it. It's two all sides, great. What can I say? Two sides of the same coin. Two sides um, of the same coin. Um, she so looks great. It. Models um, look cool. I like the personality that yeah. they put in it. Um, like the um, grass leader, how he's kind of the yeah. safari and the hiking. He almost looks like um, I think in Diamond Pearl they had the hiker on the mountains, and he almost kind of looks like a three D version of I think, that. I think I know with like the about. backpack. Oh and yeah, he's got like yeah. the same hat, which yeah. I, I thought was really cool. And it, uh, the personality looked really befitting. Nessa the same way, where you can kind of just sense that it's a modern. Especially, um, it takes place in like a UK and yeah. in the gallery, and it's very almost UK centric with like some of the fashion. Mm -hmm. and I, li looks, I, li I, I like the personality cool. being shown off by the characters, which is great because honestly, I I really like story story games. I like characters being well written and cool and like something I feel like investing in. So characters like gym leaders having more personality and stuff makes them more memorable, and that's great. Um, let's talk about the bad shit. So... Okay, well, let's, okay. So, Pokeball Plus, we'll talk about that, it mentions okay. this. So, the, basically, it doesn't do anything in-game. I think you might be able to still throw out, like, a Pokeball. Who yeah, gives no, a fuck? No, uh... Can you still throw out, like, a Pokeball to catch? I don't know if you can. So, you can't use it as a controller, however, they said something about No, how... you can, so, in the old... Ah, fuck, what was it called? There the was let's a little... Go games. Not even the Let's Go. Oh, Pokewalker? But... Yeah, the Pokewalkers. You can do shit like that where you take yeah. a Pokemon, put it in it, and then all they said was something good might happen. Yeah. So I'm assuming it might level up or you might raise its happiness. Yeah. I, I it might maybe it might even a cool thing would be if like you find items. Because I know there were some Pokemon in, yeah, that's when they Poke started Walker following you. Do. Yeah, you'd go out and it finds items for you. So that Mostly, might be sick. Yeah. Um, um okay. Now to the Ooh, now now okay. to get a little dicey. So we'll go. <laughs> Um, what, do you, what do you want to tackle first? Let's see. Right off the bat, my mind thought about... Um, so there's been a lot of clips on Twitter showcasing how... Oh, the how... moves. So, 
Or we should talk about we should talk about the Poke Bank first because that ties into the moves oh, because yeah, they leave. True. So in so they had Poke Bank inclu- inclusivity. They have Pokemon Home, which is a mobile version of Poke Bank, basically, which I I think it's cool. Yeah, that's um, fine. So the thing about the Galar region is you're not going to be able to transfer any Pokemon you want into the game because and the reason they gave for this is because of the animations and everything that they put into it would be too hard to do what i don't know is if part of that is like z moves and shit like maybe all z pokemon they said z moves and megas are not going to be in the game i'm pretty sure they're not in the game but what if i'm thinking that might be part of it all like, I know, all like, Pokemon with, like, Mega shit or Z-Move shit. I just, know they just said, like... Are trying to block it off. From but, what I, I from what I heard, it's just, like... like The animations more, were too time-consuming. Yeah, it, it was intense, too time-consuming. More intensive yeah, animations to and stuff. To put the models and shit into mm-hmm. the game. And I guess especially, don't Pokemon follow you around still in this? Ah. Uh, because if they do, that's a big okay. part of it. So, Pokemon don't follow you around, however... Pokemon th- are in that, the free world. Yeah, there's that overworld area. But that doesn't Pokemon matter if there. you're bringing your Pokemon in, because then they stay in your party. That's true. Then again, but, if there was a daycare or something, and but they moved around in ba- that... Then. Basically, what that does is, like, that means what you have to pick and choose which Pokemon deserve to be there in the first place. Yeah. And then, like... Someone could bring up, okay, well, I can bring in all these Pokemon from past gens. Why aren't, why can't they, like, post-game spawn here or whatever? It's like, oh, this is kind of lame. There's no well, way to get Well, but even Pokemon. in past games, there wasn't a way to do that. Yeah, Which, but I don't know. I, don't know. I think Wonder, I think Wonder trading's a big thing, because I'm going to be honest, I still have, like, fucking, if I were to boot up X and Y, I still have, like, 18 Pokeros Pokemon. I wonder if I saw a hype. bunch of fucking hack dude going on at like 2 a.m. when all the Japanese kids are doing it. Oh, I yeah. had one day where I got 50 Pokeballs, went to the first grass patch in the game, and just caught oh, 50 God. Pokemon in Wonder Trade. I got so much good shit off that. Of Recycled all the dog shit Pokemons that I got from people doing the same thing. You're a thing. scoundrel. You're a scumbag. There were people trading fucking hacked in Pokemon. They're not going to be upset with my level 2 Pidgey that they got. Or okay. whatever the fuck the X Y was. I'll say it. All I know is, but I was also giving away Bidoofs and shit. I didn't feel <laughs> good about it, and then I get a shiny dark and I'm like, what is going on? It's fucking yeah, but they might be wanting to avoid that. Um, other thing, I'm gonna be honest, I don't use the fucking Pokebank. I don't go out of my way for shit for competitive yeah, people. They yeah, do for sure. But um, I had a friend who's talking about it. Was like, oh, boo, you can't use the same fucking Blaziken you've been using for the past eight <laughs> gens of Pokemon. Cry a fucking river, and then I was like, yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> it's valid. My The one thing I really wanted to talk about was, um, there was this one clip on... Oh, Twitter. yeah, so the moves. So that's... Is that what you're talking about? No, like, um, there was this Dynamax battle being featured or whatever. And, um, it was against the Steelix, I believe. Mm-hmm. And the Steelix just, like, clips in. Like... It'll zoom mm. out. It'll zoom out. The Steelix isn't there for like a good two seconds, and then I don't no, know. No, so they were so in. they were showing that too. So the rendering in it, and this is definitely Switch related because Switch hardware isn't up to the other consoles. Yeah, everyone knows that. But there are clips of people just walking, and then like NPCs will fizzle into existence. Yeah, because yeah, the yeah. draw distance is so small. Yeah. And I wonder if there might be something to like increase that, but there's increased lag. Or something, which is why they didn't have it that way. Yeah, but I they definitely have to do something because a lot of people are sitting here like, oh man, this game looks like dog shit. I don't no, know. and the other thing is the move. So in in it, they talked about how the animations are more intensive and they put time into it. There's a clip of a score bunny using double kick. Score bunny naturally does a little like hop thing as his idle animation. Yeah, in this he does a little hop up a little bit further, just up and down. And then the double kick hits the other Pokemon. And that's all it is. <laughs> that's so funny. And it's and people were using that to roast the fuck out of it. They were like, intensive animations. Hey, man. Whoa. <laughs> but so people people are actually kind of trying to get the game pushed back a little bit more. There's like a Twitter rally now because they want more time to be put into it. Which I could be down for, but... That'd be cool with it. I, mean, I, I don't think they will this far into marketing. I don't care enough. Um, 
Like, I'm yeah, still, I don't care enough like, either. I'm a Pokemon guy. I'm going to buy it regardless. I actually was game. thinking about not picking this up before the Direct where they showed off everything. That's fair. Be, but with everything that's shown off, I think it's cool. I think it's refreshing. It gets me someone who is like XY. I played Sun and XY. I played. I didn't play any of Omega Ruby. I got the game. Never touched it. That's fair. And fucking Sun and Moon. I got maybe like halfway through. I and enjoyed, then just kind of dropped it. Sun, Moon, I enjoyed the games a lot, like, for its story, at least. I, like, Lily yeah, was I a great character. I didn't care um, about the story. I cared about Pokemon fights. And you, you had to do a bunch of dumb shit to level up Pokemon. And I think the thing that broke the straw hat for me is I fucking tried to get a Raichu as quick as I could for the stat boost. Mm -hmm. So just getting a Pichu at the minimal level and then leveling up its happiness as quick as possible to evolve it was just a pain in the ass. I was kind of... Yeah, it's kind of like, wow. I don't care about doing this. I don't know. I know, like... I really didn't like the Pokemon selection in that game at all. I wasn't vibing with a lot of Pokemon. It was... I think... I think some were really good, and then others were just like, okay, this, this is here. Well, that's, I mean, that's with all games. Yeah, it's The new game, I will say, a lot of the designs in the new game I really like. Even the Pokemon that I don't care for, like that seed Pokemon, I still think has a cool yeah. design. How it evolves with the cotton and the mm -hmm. seeds on it. Also, all I'm going to say is, thank fuck that little turtle dude is a water type, because Nessa has it. Because I oh, wanted yeah. to catch that shit, and if that thing was, like, grass too, I was going to cry. Because I'm picking Grookey for free frame one. Because you're a monkey, dude. We've I'm a fucking you. monkey. I'm banging around on the <laughs> drum. I'm like, yes. This is all I've ever wanted. <laughs> He's banging a dude. I better get actual drums to bang the fuck on like bongos. What if he evolves and he has like bongos around his neck and that's how he attacks? Bro, kind of he... like how fucking uh, Politad yeah. did like belly drum and shit. That'd be so Bro, sick. Bro, he's going to evolve in a DK. I'm, I want it so <laughs> fucking bad. Just Green Ranger, Green Skin DK. Just green and that's DK, his final bro. evolution. And he has the stupid faces built in He's going to get a tie. I love it, dude. God. It's all I want. All oh, of... shit. Didn't move the mouse enough. Whoops. Um, So that happened. Moves are bad. So it, Pokemon Sword and Shield is in a weird place right now. Yeah, I'm still gonna get it. It's still, oh yeah, I'm still gonna buy it. It looks decent. For sure it's still sword, because let's be honest, there's a fucking dog with a sword in its mouth and a dog with a shield beard. Which one are you really gonna get? I might get shield, not gonna lie. I'm a shield guy. He's a shield guy. I'm I, a sword guy. I looked at the sword, I saw I saw a dog with a sword in its mouth, and I'm like, are you stupid? I saw the dog with a sword in its mouth, and I was like, yo, that's kinda hype, let's See, fucking go. It, it, it's two opposite reactions. Two, two opposite reactions. Two opposite reactions. It's God, like, you're man. either gonna think it's cool, or you're gonna think it's dumb. It's like, there's no in between yeah i was like okay a dog with the motherfucking shield mane that looks cool and then the dog other dog comes in i'm like okay you look interesting and then the sword is in his mouth and he's carrying it i'm like what's gonna happen if you drop it stupid you dog won't. You he won't, will dude. he just will. no dude there are other pokemon there are other pokemon um shut up there are other Pokemon Shut that, like, up. carry shit for the whole Who time. Who cares? Shut there's, like, up. there's one that's, like, if it drops this, it fucking dies. No. I don't remember who I, it is, but there's one I think you're talking like about that. Spoink. It's, like, if it stops bouncing, it dies. Oh, Spoink does that, too. Jesus. No, there's one with, like, a fucking jewel. Like, you know how Spoink has, like, jewel on its tail? Yeah. Something like that, where if it, like, lets go of it or something, it fucking dies. And you're like, wow, that's kind of weird, but <laughs> sure. <laughs> Yeah, this like how Charmander's tail goes out, it fucking dies too. Yeah, I mean Friendly that's fair. Reminder. That's fair, but like then you got this dumbass legendary dog. You you could just take the sword out of his hand, and then and then what? You think that fucking dog will let you take the sword out of its hand? Yes, that dog. Come on, that, that dog's dog about looks, to beat your ass. He's dog about looks. a dog on you, dude. <laughs> I got a shield oh. dog. What's he gonna do? You got a shield. He's gonna fucking poke you, dude. So, no, he's not. Yes. How is he gonna swing that motherfucker? He's gonna be like, Ugh. he's gonna do a side hop, dude. He's gonna do a retarded hop, is what dude, he's gonna do. Dude, Keldeo, 
Okay. He did it with Caldeo and all He had a horn. That's fine. It's the the same thing, but in his mouth. He has more control. He has less control. No! That's bullshit. (laughs) There's more tech. It's harder, but he can do more. More tech. (laughs) He's got more options. Like, fuck you. (laughs) He's He's a legendary. He's a technical (laughs) character. He's a technical Pokemon. You're just bad. Shut up. Your your legendary's (laughs) dumb. Your color's dumb. Your character's dumb. Fuck you. I fuck you. Who Who are you going to pick? Sobble, huh? No, fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck that guy. Little I'm picking the little buddy little. ass bitch. No, little, the fur bait. Oh, congratulations. He's just a cool guy. He's hopping around. I'm like, I like to hop around. Nice Blaziken clone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, I thought that would phase you. <laughs> My As argument. If I give a shit. Okay. <laughs> Is there anything else to talk about with Pokemon Sword and Shield? Is no, that... I want to move on. Fuck okay. the Pokemon games. Fuck, All fucking right. Pokemon. Whoa. Nintendo Switch featured a lot of goddamn games. They I featured like, a lot whoa. of stuff. Mario Maker 2. Whoa. whoa. Elder Scrolls Blade. Whoa. Story games. Ooh. Hollow Knight Silk Song. That's what I wanted to talk that about. That is actually fucking cool. I'm, yeah. I did not get the true ending in the first game. I got to the final boss at like 93 or 94%. Beat him thought because it said there was no going back that i my save file was fucked and deleted it so i replayed the game and i'm at like 84 86 percent now i see so we're climbing back up but it's it's fun um some of the ceiling stuff is kind of frustrating with like how skill intensive it is yeah yeah that can sure. kind of get to you sometimes but i think especially if you're smart the dream nail thing where you can like set a gate to fast travel helps it's a lot the, yeah too it's for definitely quality a cool of life. And fun game though um yeah but that's getting silk song looks super great yeah i'm really excited I think it for looks that great um, um i might get it on pc just so i can stream it but um i like that yeah um super excited for that what else do they have? Spyro's coming, sure. Cool, yes. Fucking My Friend Pedro, which is releasing in three days. Super excited about it. That looks cool. JRPGs. Uh, I've heard that's cool. Dance. Uh, fucking Catan's coming. Fuck that sure. game, but sure. Um, Link's Awakening. Why is that a Link's Awakening? Still don't know how I feel about that. Um, okay. I The art style kind of turned me off. It was a little... Really? too cartoony it was a little too toy e I, I think because even like wind waker and like um spirit tracks and phantom hourglass are like really cartoony but i i like how it's kind of set up this game kind of just looks like a toy world kind of like pokemon rumble and don't get me wrong i fucking love the pokemon rumble games what i wouldn't give to have a switch pokemon <laughs> rumble game dude i might sacrifice like four toes for that bitch I fucking love the Pokemon don't say that. They're so fun, dude. I mean, I'm sure, but don't. Four toes is a little much. But if they if they were like, okay, pinky toes, get them off in a procedure. We'll pay for it. You don't have your pinky toes for the rest of your life. There's not that much pain during the procedure. But you get a Pokemon Rumble game on the Switch that's good. I'd be like, freeze, fuck. Who needs them? Okay. Who needs them? I kind of want him. Not gonna lie, I kind of need my pinky toe. The pinky toe, I could live without him. For a Pokemon Rumble game, I could live without him. Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah, so it's 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 very toy centered though. And yeah, it's almost a bit too much like that. Like I need, I almost want a little bit more personality with it. I see. There's almost with the art style. There's not enough room for that. And I mean, if you look at the original, what was that Game Boy Advance? It was like Game Boy Color or some shit. No, it, it was, wasn't Game Boy Color. Are you sure? It was stupid. No, Minish movie. Cap was Game Boy Color. No, yeah, no. Minish so, Cap was Game Boy Advance. Oh, I forgot the Game Boy Color. Okay, yeah. I had the consoles backwards. Yeah. Yeah, so it was it was Game Boy Color. Um, And it, it looked... Um, it looked okay. I it mean, looked for what cool. it was back if then, you were, it yeah, if you were Yeah, if you were to update it, like the eye style is the same where it's just the black yeah. sort of lines in it. Honestly, I kind of like it. Like I can see why people wouldn't, but I kind of like it. It looks it looks fun. It looks adorable. Um, That's fair. It looks exactly as it should. Honestly, like I wasn't I wasn't gonna sit here and be like, if this game's not like well, I kind of almost cool looking. I, I almost kind of wish it was more like kind of what they did with Link Between the Worlds. That's fair. Yeah, just I, a little yeah, bit more a character yeah. model to it. Yeah, and with the enemies and everything. 
Um, but I mean, the game kind of looks cool. I played the original Game Boy Color one a bit on the Game Emulator. It's it's not bad. Um, it's definitely an old style Zelda game. Yeah, it's just a way to put it. It's 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 weird too. It's one of like the more unorthodox. Have to do weird shit in it that's not inherent or not in I newer you. games. But it's it's it was still pretty fun. I never beat it. But. Yeah, yeah. I just know that since I never got to play the original, I'm probably gonna pick this up because you know I like the Zelda series. I like even if it's a remake or whatever, I can enjoy a good remake. No, and I mean they've done great with their remakes. Yeah. I mean the only one they've true true remade is Link Between the Worlds, which was phenomenal. I got the game. I haven't played it, but it is. Yet. I've almost did. I hundred percent it. I either got literally like a heart piece away, or like one thing from hundred yeah. percent. It is just so so fun. Yeah, I heard it's a very. It, good it game. feels great. The progression's great. The I played world I, exploring. I played a link to the past, which is. I didn't play that much of A Link to the Past, only a little bit. I played at least halfway through Link to the Past, and it's a good game. And when I heard it was like the same overworld, I was like, oh shit, okay, I'm gonna like this. But yeah, anyways, um... So, moving on, Dark Crystal Age of Resistance Tactics. So do you know, first of all, do you know what Dark Crystal is? No. So, it was made by the people that made The Muppets. It's an old, old movie, like an 80s movie, and it's actually... It's from the same studio. It's not, like, a comedy movie. It's a very serious movie. Mm -hmm. Not, like, dark per se, but it's, like, a serious, mythical, medieval-type story. I gotcha. Um, and it's not bad, but Netflix is getting a new series, and they have, like, a tactics game. Is it mobile? No, it's coming to Switch. Which doesn't mean it's not a mobile game. But, right. Um, so that kind of looks okay. Some weird fan service strategy game. Mm-hmm. Basically where it lies. It's like whatever. A new Contra game, which is weird. But sure. Yeah, sure. Contra. Trials of Mana. So the Mana games are coming, which is kind of cool. It's cool. I hate it. JRPGs, but I think it's cool they included it. I know um, the fucking... What is it? Oh, fuck. I think it is just called Trials of Mana. Yeah. The, like... old, the old, old one on the SNES that everyone thinks is, like, is one of the renowned... RPGs. All I know is it was back, it was Japan exclusive, I believe, and now they're all coming to um, the US. I'm like, One, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. Um, no more Heroes 3. So, I mean, I've heard. I've heard good things about this series. Yeah. They had that um, Hotline Miami X No More Heroes game that I don't remember if it's out. I think it's out, but I haven't seen much on it. That people were excited for. Now there's a No More Heroes 3 coming out. Yeah. I mean, I like how it's set up. It kind of the trailer cool. for it. Yeah, I like cool. the trailer. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition. So the complete Witcher 3 is coming to the Switch. Which I was like, okay, it's another port. That's I fine. think it's cool. I don't know how the fuck they're going to get it to port over. It's semi-nice. Yeah, I mean... The Switch does not seem like it can handle that game, I mean, but I've... have like that before. I've heard, yeah, but they've turned out bad when they've done I, it. I can't say I know that, but... Well, even Skyrim, which they ported, which is one of the first games, which is an old-ass game, looks fucking awful on the Switch. Oof. So that's The Witcher, that's, like, way more classic. I don't know how they're gonna pull it off, but, I mean, that's one of the renowned... That may be one of the most renowned games of our generation. We'll see what happens. See how that goes. Fire um, Emblem Three Houses. I don't give a fuck. I give a fuck about this. Now I'm gonna say it. Um, I don't give a single flying fuck. So they showed more cutscenes. There's a time skip. That's cool. Well, I think the time skip is like right at the beginning because you play. No. It looks like you play the intro where every one of them is together, and then. It time skips in the three houses fucking gimmick title. Thing. No, cause like. You do get to, like, interact with everyone as they're, like, still students or whatever. I don't know how long that Well, that's what lasts. I'm saying. I feel like it's a setup one, like, chapter one, so to speak. Or it's the very first part of the game and then after. Cause oh, I see, not, I see. Yeah, because not in this one, but in the first Direct where they announced it, they talked about how the whole gimmick was that there are three houses and three factions that yeah. you can interact with and all that. And I can't imagine that that academy arc is going to last for long especially because that main gimmick is oh no no, no for sure for sure um 
Either way, um, the game's setting up to be pretty cool. Um, the story sounds interesting, but I feel like even though recent entries have, or at least sound like they have interesting stories, I can't say whether they always deliver. Fates had a pretty shoddy writing, pretty shoddy story. Um, Shadows of Valentia, I haven't played it, so I can't say I know what the story was like. I heard it was a pretty good game overall, though. Are they all by the same sort of people? Uh, I believe or so. Or are they just similar? I believe they're by the same people. Like, I know Intelligent Systems makes them, but that's as far as my knowledge goes for that. Um, the art style's back to uh, Kozaki, I'm pretty sure his name is. Um, Kozaki. Shadows of Valentia's art style was beautiful, but... I can understand not bringing them back, it's whatever. Um, the characters still look really good. I enjoy the time skip concept, because one of the characters loses his fucking eye. I think he time looks... skips are cool. I think If they do it well, it's gonna be great. But, I mean, Fates was shitty. I was gonna say, I've heard bad things about recent Fire Emblem story yeah. type. Things. Fates was shitty. Um, Awakening was pretty alright, but they also had a time skip, and I mean, it was okay, I, guess, I suppose. Um, like I said, I can't say anything about Shadows of Valentia. I haven't played it, but yeah, Fates was pretty shitty, so I don't know how they're going to deal with this whole time thing, but at least they've established that if you do want to romance these fucking characters, you have to wait until the time skip, and it's like, that's They fair. can fuck later. Exactly. <laughs> and then the children- You shall- you shall fuck in the academy. And then the children characters aren't gonna be playable units, which is great, that's fine. Because that means you don't have to add all this- all these meaningless characters with barely any depth, and that's great. I'm fine with that. Whatever you say, because I have no fucking idea what you're on about. <laughs> but, sure. Go off. Go off. Uh, fucking... what else, what else was there? I don't know. Game looks great. Characters look great. Time skip looks cool. One guy loses his eye and he looks like he's depressed as hell, and I vibe with that. <laughs> what, whatever, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, that's all I care about. I don't care about RPGs. Pokemon wrote me in. That's about it. Final Fantasy VII wrote me in. That's about it. All right. That's all I gotta say. We can move on. Um, Resident Evil Five and Six are coming. Did you ever play Resident Evil Five? No. So that is a terrible game. I will right. be the first to admit it is a stupid game, but. <laughs> It has two-player online co-op, and that shit is unbelievably fun for no reason. That sounds fun. It's just really fun to play with somebody, even though it's not that great of a game. That sounds perfectly fun. Exactly, which is perfectly great. Like, I replayed it on PC over um, the winter season last, or this year, so like a couple of months back. And it's it's fun to play with somebody, it really is. Mm -hmm. The game has bad parts, and is not a good game at all. But it's it's fun, which is all you need. I think it's cool that it's coming to the Switch. Mm. I might fuck around and pick it up just to, because <laughs> why not? Um, Panzer Dragoon, what the fuck is that? <laughs> you got me, dude. I had some dragon rail shooter on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I remember that. The game looked weird. Yeah, yeah it was, it was just a dragon flying, flying on around. <laughs> Kind of like, like okay. how fucking Kid Icarus, like, Uprising had those parts. Yeah, except it was, it's I, just like... Some weird dragon. They didn't even show that much of it. Yeah, it was just a short. It was really, like, out of the blue, like, okay. Yeah, I was like, all right, that's, sure. that, that's fine. Dragoon. Woo! Whoa. So that's a thing. Um, Diamond X Machina. Ooh. Diamond X Machina looks cool. I'm super excited. I still haven't played the fucking demo of it. Me I still yeah. haven't gotten around to it. It looks... I was so excited for it. You were like... They were like, mech game? I was like, okay, sick. And they were like, fight giant things. I was like, double sick. C customize your character, sure. Mech game. And I was like, I'm in. What can I say? I just, he that's likes all mechs. I want. He likes mechs. Mechs. I was it. like, cool. Astral Chain looks cool, too. Astral Chain. They shut off more stuff. It's um, it's interesting what they're doing with the little, like, I'm going to call them stands. Stand fucking yeah. supernatural abilities is what they look like. I, I thought the concept is cool. Like, the concept, I think it's cool in general. I think how they applied it is also really neat. Because yeah. they had, they showed in this one that there's like more technical sort of type things that they do. They said there were like five types and then they kind of split out a little bit more. I see. But like the brawler one that's like fist kind of pushes things around at one part with platforms that sets you up. Um, they had, I think the arrow one served as, like, a grapple type thing, which mm. I thought shit like that was, like, really yeah, cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. 
how it wasn't just this is just a fighting style attached to your character, but they also do things in the surrounding world. Right, yeah. Because I'm sure they give you five statics, so you'll always have that, and it's not like this fucking one that's better for the brawler. Right. Well, I don't give a fuck about fighting with it. It pushes faster if it's a better <laughs> one. Right. Just fucking push faster. Yes, dude. I, I gotta grind it out, dude. If you're, my, my bitch is moving that shit fast as fuck, I don't He's off you. the team. He's off the team. He's benched. <laughs> But uh, I I think it's cool. We'll have to see how like story and stuff goes out. I think the gameplay looks kind of cool. I still don't know what the fuck's going on with it, but whatever. It looks it looks cool. Empire of Sin is a tactical battle Did with they mafia. That too much? Mm, very quick. Yeah. It was like it's basically mafia, but tactical mafia, and it's like cool. Sure. Okay. Um, it's John Romero's new game. Whatever the fuck that is. Um, then we got. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, which is one of their weird games. Don't know how I feel about that, but sure. Sure. Oh, hey, wait. It's a okay, Marvel game. Still going. It's a Marvel game. Not much to say about that. Um, Cadence of Hyrule. I think Cadence that, of Hyrule. Yeah, so that's already come out. So that, yeah, so that came out this week. I played Crypt of the Necrodancer. I really love that game. I'm going to be honest, I'm not that much into edm music type thing which yeah. is kind of what it is so i wasn't going to pick this up originally but it looks fun i've heard a lot of really good things about it mm -hmm. um and you also they released that you can play it without having it centered on the rhythm mm. so you can just play it where you press a button and everything moves that's kind of high which i think is cool i think it's cool to have both what i'd probably do is like a casual playthrough maybe where the rhythm's out yeah and then the one with the rhythm or reverse something i think it's cool that it's like that mm -hmm. um mario and sonic at the olympic games Another Fuck goddamn yeah, dude. Olympics. we see Let's people go. we see people showcasing their big old tummies and the big old tummies eggman feet Toesy Let's go. Toesy -woesies. <laughs> that's fucking that's great sick. yeah great thank I'm, god a bunch of mini games sure there's one where bowser just fucking punches the shit yeah, out of beach and karate <laughs> fully for it there's the one there's the one twitter video that went around a while back where it was like one of the old mario sonic olympic games and they're like boxing and it fucking is like go and then mario's fucking decks peach in the face and it's like ko <laughs> it's so funny god but i'm i'm so down for that sure it looks fun um, a Dragon Quest game, sure, I got me. Yeah, I guess. Okay. So Wait, no. Hold on. Scroll down. I mean, scroll. Oh. oh, hey, let's stop that. Whoa. Yikes. Well, it's not showcased here, but, um, motherfucking Smash. I, we're going back up to it. Because we have Smash and ah, fucking yes. Zelda, baby. Yes. Fuck it, dude. Zelda Breath of the Wild, motherfucking two. <laughs> Woo! Finally, dear God. I saw it. I, like, I was looking at it. I was like, what the fuck? Is I going saw on? this and I was like, yo, DLC 3? I didn't know I said. Yeah. I was like, I'm so fucking about right. this. I was like, I'm more to DLC? This game That's back fine. Up and then there's some weird shit happening. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then they said Breath of the Wild sequel was about And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking let out a screech from the Bro. core of myself. I was like, yeah. I was so hyped seeing it. Like, I already saw, I already saw Zelda. And I was like, this is great. And then Short I saw, Zelda. then I saw everything going on. I was like, there's more DLC. Weird shit. Right. I was, I was like, like, more sure, DLC. Dude. That's great. And then they said sequel. And I was like, that's it. Whole new game <laughs> about it. Sixty dollars set to the side. All right. I'm like, twenty that's more fine. for DLC. Perfect. I'm like, that's content. fine. I'm, so, I'm fine with that. So in getting a little bit more in depth so there are a couple things um to talk about first it's supposedly a darker game yeah they talked about the majora's time. mask no well people were asking like is this kind of a majora's mask being kind of like how majora's mask was a little bit darker than Ocarina at the time and they're like it's a little bit more darker than majora's mask was people were like oh, oh shit. Okay. they're like oh, let's go y'all get a little crazy and it's like this is kind of wild <laughs> breath of the wild too baby <laughs> oh <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Wow! <laughs> so, but that's cool. Another thing is, so in um, in the first Breath of the Wild, there weren't really items, 
Or at least in the traditional sense. Like, even, like, the boomerang was just a weapon. Yeah. And it had, like, a funny little gimmick to it, but that was about it. Mm-hmm. And then you had the, like, stasis. You had the Sheikah Slate Oh, things, yeah. Which were kind of cool, but you didn't have, like, a shovel or, like, your grappling hook. Right, yeah. So, in this game, and they, I think they showed some concept art, and in the trailer you can see it a bit. Link's right hand is fucked up. And it, like, glows. Yeah. We, we're looking at a still of it, and that kind of shows it. But in the thing, um, in the concept art, it shows that hand, like, transforming into items. Like, there's one where it's, like, a fucking hammer. Imagine that. he that. grows, your which hand, is weird. Your hand just transforms into a hammer, and you're like, what the what fuck, the is, fuck going is going on? And Link's like, yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 Holy <laughs> fuck. But I mean that looks it looks fucking cool. I forget what the other ones were. They showed like two or three things. I think they had like a mace thing kinda like that was in um Twilight Princess. That looks pretty cool. Which was cool. Um But I like the idea because I kinda missed that from Breath of the Wild. I yeah. thought they could add a little bit more. I kinda wish they had like just a trinket thing. I'm sure though. That you could get. Like it. I miss not having like a straight up grappling hook or yeah. something. Because especially with like all the trees and different things in the environment mm-hmm. it's um there's a lot of utility for it who knows yeah. how much use you'd get out of it but i think just having it as an option was a cool idea yeah um so i'm kind of excited about that and people have been talking about zelda being playable and zelda uh, being playable that's interesting is if there... she is cool great fantastic well, i think if anything it would be like side stories like how the first game yeah, had memories I could see you might that. play her in the memories because i think that would be a cool thing that like would be if cool. you went back in memories and you could play as the champions yeah that would be once or twice cool. that would be a cool addition um another thing about it is it's the same world yes this picks up right after to my understanding right after the first game pitches off and so you beat calamity that's game. what got me interested there's because... there's something under hyrule castle which is this fucking monster thing it's ganon it is Ganon, really. Yes. yes. Um. Okay. People have looked at him carefully, and they're like, "Oh wait, shit! This is this is Ganon." Well, people were saying it might be Demise, but essentially it's Ganon. Well, yeah, but Demise is like super Ganon. But I'm gonna have to fuck. I'm gonna have to tell you to fuck off with that comment. Okay, don't don't undermine Demise. I, I looked at the lore book. I bought the lore book. I didn't buy the lore book. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, Demise yeah. is like the ultimate evil. Ganon's kind of a little bitch trying to imitate Demise. Don't undermine. Mm. I'll tell you the real lore, because I played Skyward Sword. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay. 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 You okay. ready for this? You wait, ready for this? Wait. Here we go. Wait. See, wait. See, okay, go. Okay, go. <laughs> I was ready for you to say, I'm ready care. now. But, okay. Here we no, go. I'm ready for it. Okay. I just need you to wait. I need you okay. to wait, like, another second. You took me out of it for a yeah, second. Yeah, sorry. Exactly. I'm not waiting okay, any longer. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, Skyward Sword. Demise. He's Skyward Sword is like the prequel game to all the Zelda series, basically. And Demise is that game's Ganon, right? Um, you kill him, and he's all like, "Oh yeah, I'll unwrap this fucking curse on your yeah. goddamn." Timeline. And that was the OG OG game before yeah. Breath of the Wild exactly. in the timeline. So I think is Breath of the Wild before Skyward Sword? It might not. No. Be. No. It is after. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely after. Because Skyward Sword is like set up in such a way that well, it's meant to be the prequel to all this shit. Well, yeah, but Breath of the Wild was after that. And that's why people were kind of talking about it. That maybe it was a different sort of thing. But who knows? But, um... So, yeah, that's why Demise isn't an actual thing. And that's why Ganon always yeah. looks the way he does. Like, with the orange hair and everything. Because that's how Demise originally looked. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, so it's most likely Ganon. Now everyone's saying it's dehydrated Ganon. Just give that bitch some water. He'll Stupid. be fine. <laughs> he'll be, he'll Dumb. be fine. Fuck that. He'll be fine. But it definitely looks cool. We don't Ooh, really another have... another thing that was in the trailer too when they show because they show the world basically after they fuck with dehydrated Ganon. <laughs> yeah, Ganon, little Ganon. <laughs> And, like, the curse thing, almost like, um, fuck, what was that thing on Hyrule Castle where it, like, floated around? What did they call that? But you know what I'm talking about, right? The Divine Beasts? 
not the divine beast, but the Ganon pig thing that floated around Hyrule Castle until oh, you got was, into it. Oh, that was as like the spirit, spirit or, or whatever. whatever. Yeah, yeah, it looks like something like that, or like the the what do they call it? The corruption, the calamity. Yeah, the calamity. Like, and you find that in the open world too. Like, yeah. To. It almost looked like that was rising from the castle. And another interesting thing is, um, it the castle looks like it's in ruin. Or some or a town by it or something yeah. that looked like it was fine in the first game, but it's like not now. Mm-hmm. So I'm um, interesting to see how that like develops. And then there's places too, like um, fuck, what was the town that you build for the side quest? That's in the Akala region, all the way on the east side of the map. But you build, you know what I'm talking about? The yeah. town that you build, and all the characters come to it, and you yeah. have to like farm wood and stupid shit for yeah. it. Yeah. So I'm wondering if, like, that'll just be, like, built and it'll be established and, like, how shit like that'll affect you. Yeah. It. It'll definitely, I mean, there's a lot to think about. It'll definitely be a good game. Most oh, likely. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm so looking excited forward for to that. It, looking forward to see what they'll do because, I mean, it's definitely got ideas popping around because mm-hmm. we have no idea what's going to happen. There are a lot of questions being raised right now. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Short haired Zelda. She's a cutie. I love her. Anyways. Yeah. Um, next fucking Smash, Smash baby. Brother, we got baby. two. Yeah. Never expected them to drop two. Um, so we got Dragon Quest guy and we had I Dragon th- Quest. I think we all saw him. We, we all saw him coming. All yeah. That yeah. was the most predicted. Yeah. I think as a character he looks cool. Yeah. As a character he looks super dope. I um, think he's a sortie, but it, it looks like with his gimmicks, he's kind of got a bit and piece from everyone. He's got, like, the arson pit up B. Yeah. He's got, um... What he's, the fuck else does he have? He has some counter. He has a really busted shit. counter. Like, he, his reflector, like, stays out for who knows how long. Well, the other thing people were talking about, and I think people were wrong about this. I think it was just a trailer thing. In the trailer, it pulls up, like, um, an RPG menu. Yeah. And then you select what you do out of it. Yeah. I don't think that's how the character works. No, I think they're no, hotkeys. No, that's They it. confirmed it? Yeah. That's that's a, that's how he, like... There's even a screenshot where, in the air, he's doing that same, like, choose from, choosing from the menu pose. Mm-hmm. And I think that's how you choose between, like, your recoveries or whatever. So, so there's no bind or anything? So the bind to it is there's a little MP bar, like magic power bar. Yeah, I see that. And that and yeah, and that kind of like how in the Final Fantasy VII thing yeah. where you get it and then you get to pick your thing. But what I'm saying is like, is this up B just not bound then? Or does he have a different up B and then that's just a secondary recovery option? Um, I think that's one of the things I'm not really sure about. Like, some people have speculated like maybe he just has a bunch of different up Bs or like some shit like that like in the air he has a different different types of specials on the ground he has different types or some shit like that i don't know but he's he's unique i think he looks cool yeah he looks I'll definitely cool. is he busted probably maybe there. probably and we'll probably get the joker treatment no one will know how to play him for like four months and then mk will go this character is kind of cool yeah and then, <laughs> and then just win a major yeah. he'll be like the character's broken nerf his ass yeah what's going on <laughs> um and then Banjo. Okay. Banjo. Banjo was someone I was not expecting. I wasn't expecting. I'm not going to lie. Didn't really care for him. I didn't really either. I think it's cool. I think his kit looks kind of sweet. I like how his, like, smashes involved fucking yeah. just bashing Kazooie. So, his, his whole moveset or whatever... Is very faithful to the game. Yeah. Which, which I think it's great. Like that's, I, I think that's how it should be. Yeah. I think it's great that he's in the game. Like, it's cool. I'm glad people are happy about it. I personally didn't care, but... I'm glad people are happy about he it. Looks, he looks he unique looks enough, too, that, like, yeah. he'll be different, which I think is something that they've done surprisingly well in this yeah. game. he looks very cool. Like, very unique, very cool. The character will be fun. I doubt he'll be, like, all that great, but he'll be he'll be a fun character. I don't know. I haven't seen enough of this kid. They haven't talked about it enough. He has a projectile with the eggs, and he's got, like, a busted dash side B that, like, looks like it over-priorities everything. Kind of yeah. like Bowser's fucking side B, or Bowser Jr.'s side B, I mean. We'll see what happens, though. They'll yeah. they'll both be releasing by the end of this year, so... Well, the hero will be releasing in July, I believe. And then, and then Banjo's, Banjo's in the fall. October, I think. October, really? I they think already gave dates? 
I want to say they said October, and they might have just said this fall, or like quarter, end of quarter three. Yeah, I just remember hearing this fall, and I was like, that's fine. That might be fine, but I'll, I'll take that. I'm not going to be a huge fan of the metagame changing that quickly, but... I think that's perfectly fine. Yeah, but it's like, it's whatever. We get, we're get getting the new characters faster, which means the meta stagnates, like, solidifies faster. Um, the new characters are cool regardless. Yeah. And the reveals were pretty hype. The reveals we all, were super like, sick. You saw the puzzle piece and you're like, that's Banjo. Oh, for yeah. frame one. It I was, like that they did the duck hunt and fake out, kind of like what they did with K. Rule. Honestly, it wasn't as exciting. No, it wasn't ex- as exciting because you knew. Yeah. But I still like that they did that. It was it was kind of humorous. Especially because people said, that's why people said he was a duck, duck hunt echo. Yeah. Mm, that yeah. was before the direct even happened, though. Yeah, before the direct. Someone yeah. must have saw it leaked or something, and that's what Honestly, everyone no. was saying. Like, you look at Duck Hunt, and then you look at Banjo-Kazooie, and... They then, don't look that similar. Well, Duck Hunt is a duck and a dog, whereas Banjo-Kazooie is a bird and a bear, yeah. and that's the whole concept. No. Of it. It's like, oh, it's just yeah. two, two animal team. It's like, one, the bird's on the back, the, the doggy thing is like, the main guy, it's it's the same sort of concept, which is why people are like, it's gonna be lame. But, it's completely different, super faithful, cool stuff. About it. Um, is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I mean, that's all of E3 this year. Overall, I think it was a pretty solid year. I think the way things developed are good. Yeah. Especially with conferences, I think people are learning kind of How to what, do yeah, what people want to actually see and what to pace it and what to kind of bring out. Mm -hmm. Sony opted out, but that's probably because they don't have that much to show. And next year they're going to have like a new console. Cause if Xbox is coming out with one, Sony's going to have one too. Yeah. Everyone knows it. But, uh, yeah, I think that's all. Yeah. I think that's the end of the E3 shitty takes recap. Long as shit. Long as fuck, this dude. Was, this Might was, be the longest. Even longer than our first episode. I think it is. Which, we've only had two before this one. So the first one was like an hour 45 Oh, it was longer than that. Yeah. I think we're at hour 50 on the dot. Yeah, so this is definitely longer. Alrighty, though. Um, um I, don't, I don't know what the fuck <laughs> end this. I don't Who know cares? what to say. We talked about it. Zelda's cute. That's Fucking all. Good night. What's the Kumi? Ghostwire. Adorable. Good Love night. Japanese women. That Something was... about feet, because I didn't talk about them before. Thank sure. God. Anyways. Yeah, it's fucking Saya fucking Nara. Saya Nara, baby. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> what a good end. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>